Thanks again for choosing Planet Rentals. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our chocolate fountain setup. Um, now with the chocolate, you need to make sure that you have uh, chocolate that's specifically made for chocolate fountains. Um, a lot of stores sell that. We also carry that as well. Um, it's a chocolate that has a lot more oil added into it, as well as we're going to add additional oil so that it flows nice and smoothly in the fountain. Now when you pull it out of the tote, there are a few pieces here that you'll need to put together. The first is your tiered system here. Um, the chocolate will end up going here in the bottom. And if you take this top cap off, you'll notice there's an auger that goes down the middle. So this kind of comes apart a little bit for some easy cleanup. Um, but you want that auger right down the middle and that top cap just puts it on. Then you've got your base unit here. There's a little rubber washer that goes on top. And then the tears just screw on to the base unit. And you just need that to be snug. Then you would get the power cord that's in here and it powers off just regular power. Now the chocolate that we sell and provide actually does better if you melt it in the microwave and you can put these packets in the microwave just as they are and it says to put it in the microwave for two minutes on half power and then you massage it and then it's another two minutes on half power and at that point it's very liquidy and ready to go into the bowl. Now this machine can melt down the chocolate for you but it takes a really long time in order to do that and you really need to attend to it and stir it often. So again, it's easier just to get these mixes and put them right in the microwave so that it does all the melting for you that way. Okay, now I've melted down this chocolate and in order for the machine to run, it needs between two and four pounds of chocolate in the bowl. Um, so these bags specifically are two pounds each. Um, and once I've melted it, you can just tear across the top and empty it on in. All right, now once you've added your chocolate, to make your product go even further and make it uh, flow better, we suggest adding a quarter cup to a half a cup of vegetable oil or canola oil to the chocolate. It won't affect the taste at all and again it helps your chocolate go further and it will flow a little bit better. Now on this machine you have a temperature dial over here and like I said earlier this machine can melt down the chocolate on its own but again we suggest putting it in the microwave and you would want to melt it down on high heat and stir it often. But once the chocolate's already melted, you'll want this somewhere around 90, um, which is a Celsius measurement. Right about there is about a good temperature. Now you'll notice when your uh, chocolate starts flowing, if it's dripping, then it's probably not hot enough and melted enough. Um, or if it's you know maybe flowing too smoothly, you could turn down the temperature a little bit. Now you have your heat switch here, which will activate the heat. And then your motor button, which will start to turn that auger and then we'll uh, flow the chocolate down the machine. Now if you notice the chocolate's not flowing on this one side and that means that this side is high. So what I'm going to do is raise up that back leg opposite that high side so that it flows more levelly. And those legs on the bottom just twist. And now it's flowing much better. Now once it's flowing, if you see, start to see breaks in the chocolate, that probably means that you need to add more. So as pe people eat the chocolate, of course, you'll be adding more bags so that it continues to flow um, consistently. Now the machine itself does get a little warm here around the edges and the bowl. So you want to be a little bit careful um, about kids and whatnot coming up and touching the machine. And then all of these controls here are actually meant to be on the back side. Um, it's so someone can attend to the machine from the back. So um, depending on your setup, you can have that cord plugged in so that someone doesn't trip on the cord in the front. When it's time to clean up the machine, you want to use lots of hot soapy water. Again, you can pull off the top of that tier and pull out the auger. Use lots of hot soapy water down the middle of it as well as on all the other area. Planet Rentals will do a lot of cleaning and disinfecting once you bring the machine back as well, but if you can get the majority of it cleaned up, that'd be great. Now Planet Rentals can also provide you with some bamboo skewers that you can use to dip your favorite product into the chocolate fountain. And that's yummy stuff. Thanks again for choosing Planet Rentals.